Here we are again. Not even fire can put a stop to one of the world's greatest lotteries. The Irish hospital sweep on the Derby is carried through despite the destruction a short time ago by a fire at the headquarters of the draw at the plaza. The sweep rises from her ashes like a phoenix. And indeed, this is the allegorical design adopted this time by the promoters of this great hunt after fortune. Girls draw a floral representation of the famous drum surmounted by a flaming phoenix from Earl's Court Terrace, while behind follow a number of cards in which are the boxes of the valuable counterfoils. Through St. Stephen's Green, Grafton Street, O'Connell Street, past the Parnell Memorial and along Dawson Street, the rich, it will be for some lucky people, procession, goes and fetches up at the Dublin Mansion House, where in the round room the draw is to take place when all these boxes have been carried in. Inside the round hall, a spectator of the scene might be forgiven for thinking he had strayed into a flower show, or at least a floral pageant. 200 girls connected with the sweepstake offices are dressed in costumes which represent all kinds of spring flowers, magnolias, daffodils, tulips, crocuses, primroses and violets but the whole idea of the decorations is to convey an impression that despite handicaps of all kinds, the sweep blossoms forth again. Every box has the figure of a phoenix on its side as the girls go about the ceremony of mixing the counterfoils at which the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Alderman Byrne, was present. Incidentally, there was a strong force of Garda on duty in the mansion house. Note the new mixers. On the stage has been set the revolving drum, a new one, and above it towers the floral phoenix while the walls behind are gay with a decorative scheme of flowers. Flowers and still more flowers. And if spring is in the air and in the minds of the promoters of the sweep, there's a spring in the movements of the nurses from the Dublin hospitals as they draw counterfoils. Those tiny slips of paper which mean fortune, large or small, to thousands of people all over the world, even in Great Britain. A nurse draws a horse. It is quite an army inside the mansion house. A host of secretaries records the winning numbers and the horses drawn while another army of pressmen are busy sending out the news, fateful news, to the waiting world. And while Mr. O'Shearn, director of the draw, calls out the winning numbers, that is, cameraman has been busy taking these pictures for you. The Duchess of York brings little Princess Elizabeth and her baby sister, Princess Margaret Rose, to Rushmore Arena. And with 50,000 other children, they are delighted.